What's up, YouTube? Gen Nation Cedric here with another video, another reaction, and we got a special request today from uh, mm -hmm. one of you guys. Um, this is Robert Pimmel, I believe his name is, and this is uh, at Dangerfields, which is a comedy club in uh, New York City. So, Dangerfield is a legend. Uh, I've seen a few shows there, not of Dangerfield, but uh, of other comedians. But, um,. I'm curious what uh, Robert has to say. I don't know really anything about him. And uh, this was requested. And as you know, I will try to get to uh, all the requests as I can. So let's get into it. And welcome to Comedy Wednesdays. I hope, uh, hope you're ready to laugh today. Let's do it. All right. Here's a guy. 1988. And I don't care. <laughs> He really makes me I don't know play. where he's All from, right. or I Give don't care. Give it up for Robert Schimmel, okay? Robert? Robert yeah. Schimmel. There you go. Okay. That's right. I was reading in the paper today that somebody got arrested for animal necrophilia. How do you plead when you go to court for something like that? Gee, Your Honor, I thought the cat was still alive when I was fucking him. <laughs> what? Right away. <laughs> okay. Nah, it's not really right to fuck your pets. <laughs> you think? I think it breaks their will or something, you know? And then, and then they never listen to you again. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, what do you want to fuck me again? <laughs> you fuck the cat. Leave me alone, okay? I don't want it. Yeah. The... I just got a dog. I ain't fucking him, though. Well, he looks so disappointed. Dogs are that can be embarrassing. What do you say when your friends come to visit and your dog starts humping their leg? Well, if it's a pit bull, you say you better let him finish. Yeah, so I take my wife to a marriage counselor. He fucked her. <laughs> he said, what you got to do is take your wife to one of these adult toy stores, buy some marital eggs, and go home and what experiment the hell? with them. Explore each other's Hold bodies. Hold on. I need to go. What is, what is with this guy? He's... he's... <laughs> I love comedians that are miserable. If, if you've watched me a little bit uh, long enough, I just love comedians that ha that are miserable and have stories and examples to back up their miserableness. And uh, he seems to be going down this route where everything is just like annoying or out of control. Life to one of these adult toy stores, buy some marital aids and go home and experiment with them. Explore each other's bodies. It'll help broaden your sex life. She came home with a vibrator that takes like 20 D cell batteries. <laughs> it isn't exploring, it's like offshore drilling. <laughs> <laughs> start your car with this thing and it says in the box just like the real thing yeah every dick goes <laughs> yeah, you think all those years i thought my mom and dad are making margaritas in the bedroom ah uh. jeez how do women buy these things it must be so weird they always have them in those boxes with the picture of the girl on it holding it up against their face and it says and it relieves tension Somehow I can't see somebody going, you know, honey, my neck's really killing me. Where's that rubber dick you got? Can I use that? <laughs> Where's that rubber dick? You know, we know what these things are for. They try and make it look like they're for medicinal purposes. They're not using these in the emergency room. Doctor, his heart stops. Stand clear. <laughs> they do sell a lot of weird things in these stores. They have this stuff called Mr. Big Cream. It says rub it on your dick and your dick gets bigger. Hey, great. Wouldn't your hands get bigger, too? <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. Why, why anything that the cream touches, right? People try a lot of weird stuff. You know, I went out with a girl once. She said, you want to have the most unbelievable orgasm in the world? No. She said, I'm going to stick a knotted rag up your ass. I said, no, you're not. She said, no, look, look, I'm going to stick it up there, see? And just when see? you're ready to come, I'm going to yank it out, and it's going to be like the 4th of July. Well, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to my ass, I don't like the word yank right off the bat. I said, you know, honey, I don't want to rag up my ass. She said, how about a string of beads? Said, what are you, Monty Hall? This isn't let's make a deal here. What do you mean? But I figure you only go around this crazy old world once, so what the fuck? Yeah, so I'm at the <laughs> hospital getting the beads removed. I'm at the hospital. 
<laughs> Doctor pulled the string and I came like a wildcat. <laughs> Just start explaining how they got up there. Gee, you're never gonna believe this. I, I, I was on a step ladder putting a bulb in, and I slipped and fell, and they went right up there. I hate going to the doctor. I just went for a complete physical. I'm in there undressed. The doctor comes in. He said, you know, your left testicle feels funny. I said, shit, then leave it alone. <laughs> it feels funny for me that you're holding it so long. And who grows up to want to be a proctologist? What kind of goal is this in life? I had to get a thing called a sigmoidoscopy. They take something like this long and they stick it up your ass just to look around. He said, for what, a parking space? He said, look, I got a better idea. Why don't you tell me what you're looking for? I'll tell you where it is, and we don't have to use this. He said, we're looking for blood in your stool. I said, well, you know, I never went to med school, but if you use this, I can make a prediction right now. <laughs> he just looks so miserable. So the guy tells me to lay down. He starts feeding it in. He said, you might feel a little pressure. I said, yeah, on the roof of my mouth. Get it out. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are hemorrhoids called hemorrhoids and asteroids called asteroids? Wouldn't it make more sense if it was the other way around? <laughs> but then if that was true, you wouldn't be a proctologist, you'd be an astronaut. <laughs> Touche. Well, why do people well say done. excuse me after they fart? Wouldn't it be better if they said look out before they did it? <laughs> after the fart? I had such an embarrassing thing, I had to go to the hospital. I thought I was having an appendicitis attack. I'm in the emergency room. The doctor comes in. He said, I'm going to push you on your stomach. You tell me when it hurts the most. And he pushed on this one spot, and this gas came out, and the pain went away. And it cost 75 bucks to fart in the emergency room. <laughs> and the sick thing is, you can put it on your, on your visa card and make monthly installments on it, and then you want to charge something at the store, and they go, sorry, that's been declined. You still owe $25 on it. Did you fart in the emergency room? <laughs> How do blind people know when they're done wiping their ass? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so true. That's so true. And this is funny because uh in our private chat with the with the other gen crew um i think it was spartacus he posed the question like what do deaf people what language do deaf people uh hear when they're thinking right because they don't know what people sound like or what words sound like right at least that's what we don't know but um, so it's interesting. Like, what do they hear, or in their head, I should say? And this is funny. Like, just, I don't know. We're out there. Let's reel it back in. Honey, could you come here for a minute? I need you to proofread something for me. <laughs> yeah, my wife wanted to get a cat for a pet. I like dogs, they're a lot more fun. You can play frisbee with a dog, you go jogging with them. She said, cats are better than dogs. Because when a dog has to go to the bathroom at three in the morning, they wake you up, you gotta get up, you gotta let the dog out, wait till he's done, let him back in, go back to sleep. Cats, they never bother anybody. They have their own little box. Cats are so intelligent, you could actually teach them to go on the toilet. Great, and then when you have to go, the cat's in there. How long are you gonna be, huh? Fuck it, where's the box? Where's the box? Then you use the box and your friends come over and go... <laughs> what, do you get a mountain lion for a pet here? What the fuck is this? <laughs> So I see these ads all over for phone sex all the place. They have this dial a sucker. You, you see the hair in the crowd? Uh, I gotta love the 80s. Where it is, you know, this phone sex. Whoever invented this deserves every penny they make. Anybody that can get you to pay them to let you jack off on the phone is a fucking genius. <laughs> I can never do it because I'm afraid it's gonna be like, okay, you got your dick out? Yeah. You jacking off? 
Yeah. Your mom wants to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Good night. See you. Well done, Robert. Welcome to the channel, sir. All right. That was Robert Schimmel at Dangerfields in 1988. And you could tell by uh, everyone's clothing and hairdos. Um, that was funny. Like I said before, uh, comedians that are just miserable and complain <laughs> are always funny to me it's so it's more relatable because everybody's miserable in one way or another so um <laughs> it's just just funny so yeah that, that was a good one i appreciate the recommendation and uh what do you think like and subscribe do you want to see more from him are the is there more from him on youtube i don't know um is he still around i don't know but uh let me know in the comments and um hit that subscribe button on your way out. Peace, everybody.